This video shows the Dymo print label system. It's also going to be the system that we're going to use going forward for all thermal printer labels and laser printer labels and inkjet printer labels. Uh, initially, we've got the Dymo label uh, installed, and that's what we're going to use for this demo. So here's the Dymo label 30252. You would select that label size, which is, I believe, one and a half by three inch. Uh, we would hit continue. And this is where we would select the fields in step number two. So I'm going to put the animal ID on there. I'm going to put the descriptor on there, put date of birth. I will put the sex and I will put the genetics on there. Sex will come down into this corner, so it doesn't matter. If you wanted to change this order, you would actually just select them in a different order. You can now save this preset to anything you want to call it and hit save. Then it would show up on the first screen as a preset and you would click it. You wouldn't have to go through all this again. You would then hit continue on this screen and we can select racks that we want to print or animals we want to print labels for. So we'll go ahead and print or select the animals here. We'll hit continue and it brings up a representation of what we'll print on the label as far as uh, all the data with the specific widths and how many lines are on there. So if you wanted to change any of this, um, you would just type it in here and that's what would actually go on the label. Uh, if you want to shorten anything, uh, you can also do that. Any text you want to change, once you change it here, it's going to change on the label. So once we're happy with all the labels, we would hit print and there they are ready to go and you would just print with your browser dialog with this button here and print it right onto the laser layer on the thermal label labels for the dymo printer once we have the sheet labels it will show a sheet representation here and you'd print that 